If you want to build your logic in Apex and Triggers, you are on the correct video. But before getting started, if you are not feeling confident enough before going to any interview, you can have one to one mock interview with me by clicking the top mid link below. So let's get started. So the question is that, let's say I have an account. Under the account, I have multiple contacts. So let's say there is one contact, one account. And under this account, I have multiple contacts. Let's name as Con1, Con2, Con3 and Con4 and so on. Okay, under one account itself. Okay, let's name this account as uh, Salesforce in 5 minutes. Under this Salesforce in 5 minutes, there are multiple contacts. Now, within this, that the criteria is that within each of the account, only one contact can be active. Okay, so if there is an account named as Salesforce in 5 minutes and there are multiple contacts, only one contact could be primary at a time. <clears throat> so let's consider that con1 is primary okay the uh, not primary let's name it as active <clears throat> so con1 is active right now over here so con1 active uh, con1 is uh, active now the scenario is that let's say we have to basically write the trigger for this okay so the scenario is that when i let's say i go to con4 and if i make this contact as active automatically con1 active checkbox should be unchecked okay so this is what we have to build basically making the scenario like only one contact should be primary so the basic scenario is that let's say there was one con1 uh, contact okay if it was active before and we went to con4 and we check the active checkbox of con4 in that case automatically under the same account the con1 active checkbox should get unchecked so this is the scenario and let's start writing the trigger for the same <clears throat> so uh, let's get started okay so first of all we need to write the trigger on contact right so i'm going to write the trigger contact trigger let's name it as contract trigger on contact okay and basically <clears throat> everything is happening on updates one more important thing is we are going to use after update because even if the object is same okay even if the object is same the context is different. we are talking about a different contact the object is contact as well but we are talking about a different contact we are trying to update the con1 when con4 is getting updated right so that's why we are using after updates in this scenario now First thing first, what I should do is first I loop over all the contacts that I've got are that are updated right now. And I'm going to check whether the active checkbox of a particular contact is checked because I should take care of those contacts only whose active checkbox was checked. Right now, if I'm updating the con4 as active checkbox is checked, I should only take care of that, right? So for that purpose, I need to check whether actually the active checkbox is updated or not. To do that, what you can do is contact con old equals to trigger dot old map dot get con dot id so using this uh, let me convert the language to java first of all so that it's quite easier to understand so using this what i'll get is whatever let's say previously con4 was active inactive let's say the active checkbox was unchecked so the before over here the active checkbox here would be false Okay, and in uh, trigger.new, I'm getting the recent contact whose active checkbox is true. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the earlier version of this particular contact. As soon as I get it, first I need to check whether the active checkbox was actually checked or not. So I can do it using con.old.active underscore underscore c is not equals to con.active underscore underscore c okay using this what i'm trying to check whether the older version of the contact active checkbox were checked and the old newer version of the active checkbox is checked i mean if they are equal to each other or not if they are not equal to each other this means actually the contact was updated next thing i'm going to check is that con dot active underscore underscore c so basically what over here i'm trying to do is whether the older version of the active and newer version of the active are not equal to each other means this this means that the active checkbox is actually changed and it's changed to true okay i'm checking it whether the active checkbox was changed to true now once that is done i need to capture the contact and along with that i need to capture the id of the account as well so i'm going to create two sets set of id contact id let's name it as equals to new set of id similarly what i'm going to do is i'm going to also capture account id so that's why i'll create a set of account id as well <clears throat> now once that is done whosoever the active checkbox is checked first let's capture the contact id con dot id and account id as well we need to capture add con dot account id 
okay so what i have done is i have captured the account id and i have captured the contact id as well next thing what i need to do is i need to query all the rest of the contacts okay this is active but i need to also query rest of the contacts which were previously true so if i go to the diagram again okay here i have captured the account and contact id over here of this particular contact which i have checked but i need to query rest of the contacts who were previously true right i need to query this particular contact as well to make it false so to do that first i'll write a query let's name it as list of contact con list equals to <clears throat> select id comma active underscore c from contact where okay first which i which query account i uh, this account i'm uh, currently updating right so i need to query the rest of the contacts sorry i was updating this contact so i need to query the rest of the contacts and the common thing is between them is the account is the main like all of the contacts has the account as same so i'm going to uh, query uh, the contact based on the account id where account id sorry account id in we have created a set right account id let's capture it within this account id in this and okay what this will do is if i query if i if i just write this particular query what this will do is it will also bring this con4 as well in our query because it also has the same account but i need to avoid querying this particular contact i need to only query con1 con2 and con3 i need to avoid querying this contact as well to do that you what you can do is and id not in contact id so basically as we uh, the active checkbox for this particular contact was checked so automatically we have stored the id of this particular contact in this variable and we are not going to query this particular contact okay it will just query con1 con2 and con3 it won't query con4 at all okay using this query now you can further improve your query okay this is called as optimization now what is the use of querying con2 con3 right they are already false why to query this so we can just query con1 by using the following thing and active underscore underscore c equals to true so this is just going to bring the contacts which are true now once we have caught that okay we will we will loop over this particular contacts for contact con con list <clears throat> okay and then con dot active underscore underscore c equals to false then i'll finally update the contest i'm not writing the size and all that stuff but i'm just trying to prove your point that how to write the code for it okay you can always do the null checking and all that stuff but i'm not doing it right now over here now let's go through this code once more if you have not understood it yet i'll once more go through it okay so let's say currently i'm updating uh, i have con1 con2 con3 and con4 now con1 was previously active okay now i went to the con4 and i updated the active checkbox of the con4 so inside trigger.new i'm going to get con4 that's right right so whichever record i am updating i will get it in the in the trigger.new so basically i'll get con4 over here then i am trying to check the older versions of it older version did not have active checkbox as checked but the newer version does has so this means this condition will get satisfied okay and in that case i will capture the contact id the id of this contact inside the contact id variable and the account id as well which is a common for almost all the contacts now once that is done i am trying to query the rest of the contacts inside this what i am trying to do select id comma active from contact where account id in account id this basically for this account id i am querying the rest of the contacts but if i just write this then con4 will also get queried we don't want to query the con4 to so to avoid that query and id not in the contact id contact id was storing the con4's contact id right so it won't query this contact but it will query only con1 con2 and con3 but as i want to just make them false so con2 and con3 are already false right it does not make sense for me to again query them right so to do that what i need to do is i just need to query the con1 which was active so i had one more condition that as uh, and active equals to true so this will only bring the con1 now once i have received the con1 okay as the code has to be verified that's why i'm using list and map but also uh, as soon as i'll get all these contacts who are active and id is not as similar to that and uh, not in the current which we are updating as soon as we have got that they are making the active checkboxes fall and updating the contact list so this is basically what we are doing and this is how you basically build the logic if you found this video helpful and if you need more such video i request you to please like this video comment down and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching